Good morning, folks. We're starting with an uptick in solar activity. We're going to eye that same sunspot group as the last few days as it begins flashing. Indeed, the sea flares ramped up overnight, and this morning we got an M-class flare. This uptick was expected based on the complexity of the sunspot group, which continues to build. The massive group is now Beta Gamma Delta. Primary Delta Zone is right here where the magnetics are woven together, with a secondary candidate trailing behind them. We are also seeing the onset of a coronal hole stream. Orange density bulges, then drops out while speed and plasma temperature in yellow and green begin to rise. The electrons hit the floor, and we entered a brief geomagnetic storm already. Could see some reverberations. The thin dark plasma filament below the Earth's scale will begin to face Earth today, and they match the Delta-class sunspot in terms of eruption potential. We can see that one coronal hole begins to turn away, while the next one becomes more easily visible top left coming in. Geocentric geometry becoming more significant as well amidst this endless stream of coronal holes. Meanwhile, the unusual location rumbles continued. Anything in four magnitude range is above average for the Caribbean. 4.5 was actually the lowest reading on the list. It went up to magnitude 5. Also had continued rumbling in the South Pacific. On to the news stories. This was the scene on Lake Michigan boulders made of ice and let me tell you folks things are about to get a lot worse here right now only 6.9 percent of the great lakes have ice coverage and you better believe we'll need to update this in a few days let's revisit the jet stream that dip that caused the western cold is about to begin shifting eastward dropping arctic air down into the central and eastern states but as before with the west it is not just the jet stream but the polar vortex as well the vortex is going to do a two-step eastward as well, allowing cooler air to funnel down while driving a bit of the flow itself at the higher atmospheric layers. Tomorrow's low temperatures, and that does not include the wind chill, folks. Major cold coming to the east. In Observer News, we were on the Tom Anderson Show last night, TomAndersonShow.com, and it's already posted in their archives. We would also like to thank News Channel 10 in Amarillo for sharing our project, especially to Corey Duke. They did a fantastic job piecing together information and highlighting important facts, and I could tell their eyes are open. The Mobile Observatory is in Albuquerque today. Truth or Consequences tomorrow, Tucson on the 6th. Details are at observatoryproject.com. Today's weather in the U.S. involves a heat event. The southern low is drawing straight up from the Gulf of Mexico while the patterns continue to the north. Severe storms and flooding are possible in the Gulf states, even a tornado, and winter continues elsewhere. In Europe, we're still eyeing that major flow out of the west. I'd love to get some weather shares about the winds or precipitation delivered by this storm. Down under, the precipitable water overlay shows that not much has changed, save for the inclusion of the southwest due to a flow out of the south. Worse storms do remain to the north, however. Of course, it is Saturday, so for the 75th straight week, we'll be doing Fly on the Wall, found by clicking the Premium button. If you are not yet a member of the site, Sign Up button is right below Premium, a whopping $3 per month or $20 when you get a full year. We greatly appreciate your support. Got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.25 a.m. in New Mexico. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.